So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time, we got the mission to find his, her brother. We're going to go find her brother. Ignore that board up there. Um, while I was off screen, I ran up in another random encounter. Wait, I was at 25 of but if I remember right. Banjo music always throws me off. Kind of bizarre. How bizarre. Do, do, do. Oh, another thing we need to do. Uh, I think we have some animals too. I know we're probably gonna change location soon. Two can't be this freaking long, can it? usual gear the freaking map marker. I forget. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. Hmm. What path have you chosen, sir. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and, and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then... Make up your mind! Chill. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Really? You're gonna run for someone who's like, you know, forever? I'm gonna get in some trouble here. Dang, that horse is bad. Are you... Did you just kill my horse? Freaking killed my horse. <sighs> what the freak? Alright. Uh, that's alright. That's Arthur. okay. I didn't ask for your help. Yeah, you did. Well, you didn't, but you're going to anyway. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. Is there another carriage? They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just 
Just hold up a minute. This is none of your damn business. Or it's all my business. Gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm no gonna... way. I'm gonna. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. He did. What the freak? You're supposed to. Wow, he did that twice. Like... Jimmy did. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. What just happened? Okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. This is a very nice old... Mission. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shimonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any. Of course I did. <laughs> they rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut <laughs> up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but... Your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. 
Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. <laughs> okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick, or I might run off again. You don't say that. I will shoot your hog tie you. Then again, why did you not hog tie? I thought you can't run here. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Do you blame me? Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Please, you've... Father's been very sad. Well, father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. Yeah. I know that. That was awkward ending conversation I've ever seen. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. You just know my favorite lines there is. They just play me like a fiddle. Where's my next mission at? Who is it? That can't. Marston? Oh no, that's probably a boss. That's probably the end of chapter 2. Guys, next time! On Red Dead Redemption 2! Let's see what John wants. I'll see you then.